Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy and I'm here for another one of your second step lessons. And today we're going to learn some more about feelings. For this lesson, I brought with me Be Calm Buddy. Be Calm Bunny. Be Calm Bunny is my friend that I can talk to during the lesson and also just a good reminder to keep my body calm and in control as I'm listening and learning. You can get a buddy of your own to listen to our lesson. So if you need to pause the video, get your bunny, and then come back ready to listen and learn. If you're ready, I need you to give me five. That means your eyes are watching, ears are listening, voice is quiet, body still, and hearts are open. So last time when we learned about feelings, we learned about two feelings. We learned about what it's like to be happy and what it's like to feel sad. We learned that when you have feelings, you show them on your faces, like happy is a smile, and we feel them in our bodies. Like when you're happy, you feel comfortable. But when you're sad, that's an uncomfortable feeling. To get our brains thinking about feelings, I want you to think about a time that you felt surprised. And then you get to share it with your buddy. I'm going to share mine first, and then I'll give you a turn. Bunny, I was surprised when on my 10th birthday, there was a surprise birthday party. I felt pretty uncomfortable at first because I didn't know that other people were going to be there. But then when I realized that the party was for me, I felt comfortable again. And I showed a big smile on my face to show how I felt. It's your turn to share a time that you felt surprised. Go ahead and pause this video, tell your buddy, and press play when you're ready to go on. All right, if you're ready, give me five again so you're ready to listen and learn. To keep thinking about feelings, I do wanna start us off with listening to our feelings song. I'm going to put it on our screen and I would love for you to dance along or sing if you want with your buddy. <laughs> Twinkle in the eye, happy as a friend or a homemade apple pie. Everyone has feelings. Show them on our faces. Show them on our faces. We feel them in our body. Feel them in our body. We tell them with the voice and how you feel the way you feel. Sad is a tear and a head hanging down. Sad is when you lose your special toy in town. Great job, friends. I really enjoy that song. All right, now let's meet another friend and talk about a new feeling. All right, boys and girls, this girl in my picture's name is Michaela. And Michaela is here listening to her friend tell her a story. I can tell that she's listening because she's giving her friend five. Her eyes are on her, her ears are listening. Her voice is quiet and her body certainly looks still. I want you to think about how she feels in this picture. Tell your buddy how you think she feels. You could say happy. You could say she's feeling good, but there's another way that she is feeling. Bunny, she's feeling interested. 
Can everyone say that word? Tap your brain as you say it. Say interested. Good job. Interested is when you're showing that you have your attention on something. And when you are interested, you feel good about it. Your body feels comfortable. She's showing with her face that she's interested because her eyes are looking at her friends and her whole body is turned that way. Do you think that maybe she's using her attentoscope? I think so too. Everyone put your attentoscope on and focus on Michaela and put it down, but pretend it's still there. Yeah, she is focusing on her friend. She must have her attentoscope on. The way that she feels today is interested. All right, well, that's all we have for today. And I will see you next time with my friend Bee Calm Bunny. Bye everybody.